Are you looking for possibility to get access to the Microsoft 365 for free? In this video, I will show you five ways to achieve that goal. I can imagine that you could be student, maybe owner of the new startup, or you renewing the licenses or hiring new people and you need to get the Microsoft 365 for some period of time to give them possibility to work till the moment that the proper already bought licenses will be provided by the vendor. On the other hand, you could look for the possibility to create the free test environment for the Microsoft 365 where you can test your solutions. Or maybe you are a school that looking to use Microsoft 365 to improve the work in your structure. In this video, I will try to help you to figure out what kind of options do you have to get the Microsoft 365 for free. Not every scenario that I will present will work for everyone, but I can imagine they can help you to execute usage of the Microsoft 365 in your smaller or bigger team or organization for the purpose you will have there. Of course, in general, Microsoft 365 is a commercial solution and you have to buy it. But at the same time, there are some scenarios where you can get Microsoft 365 for free with some limitations, have the understanding about that kind of scenario. If you will like this video, please leave the thumbs up. If you want to get the notifications about the new videos, please subscribe. Be weekly, I publishing the new videos on this channel. And if you will have any additional questions, feel free to leave the comments below. And before we will move forward, one more comment from my side. There is one scenario that could also help you very much to execute usage of the Microsoft 365, but it is not free. Remember, setup of the Microsoft 365 tenant in the commercial approach requires at least one commercial license. So you can bot E1, E3, business basic, business standard subscription for the one user, set up it for you and use that tenant for your purposes. Of course, this could be some kind of freelance scenario. So the situations where you need functionalities of the Microsoft 365, but you don't want to buy a lot of licenses, one will be totally enough to make it work. But still, if you're looking for the scenarios to get the Microsoft 365 for free, I will present you a few options you will have. First way to get Microsoft 365 for free. You can get access to the free version of the Microsoft 365 for the unlimited period of time, but with a lot of limitations when you will register on the live.com website. You will get their access to the Outlook application, OneDrive and multiple other apps that could help you. Plus you can use that account later on to register for the Microsoft Teams free version, which will include collaborations, file sharing and communities in there. This is a very simple scenario, but allows you when you are a smart startup or small team of the users to collaborate together without any costs, but also with some limitations. You will not be able to use your custom domain. You will not be able to manage your user accounts together, but at the same time, you will get a lot of functionalities that are there. And you can get also access to the office.com versions of the Excel, Word, PowerPoint and OneNote so you can edit your files in the browser. Very simple scenario, but could help you a lot. Let's see how to get access to that. The only thing you need to do here is to register free account when you will visit live.com website, which will redirect you to the outlook.com. When you're creating the account here, it will create the Outlook account. 
When you will register, which took about 30 seconds, you get access to the Outlook application with the domain in the outlook.com or Hotmail, plus you get access to the apps like ToDo, Word, Excel, PowerPoint and OneDrive, which is really, really great. Moreover, you can use that account to register for the free version of the Microsoft Teams. When you will visit free version of the Microsoft Teams, the only thing you need to do is to sign up for free and use your Outlook email here. As soon as you will register using your outlooklive.com account, you can execute usage of the free version of the Microsoft Teams application. This is really cool, great stuff, which you can get for free. Of course, you can see the available functionalities are limited, but it costs you nothing. If you would like to follow that scenario in the description of the video, you will find all necessary link you need to visit to start to use this Microsoft 365 setup for free. Second way to get Office 365 for free. Another way to get access to the Microsoft 365 for free is the possibility to use free trial license offered by Microsoft. This license is giving you full functionality of the Microsoft 365 products you will get through this subscription, limited to 30 days. You can execute the new tenant based on that, or you can use them on the existing tenant to provide licenses for the users for these 30 days in the limited time. Remember, if you will not extend these licenses using commercial licenses, user data will be lost. You can use it if for some reason you need to provide license for the user sooner than you will be able to buy it, but still there's no commitment, you can cancel them after it and adding them to the tenant is quite simple. Remember, you can use one type of the trial license only once. In the description of the video you will find all available trial licenses that are offered by Microsoft. When you will open that link the only thing you need to do is to select free trial license for the specific product you want to choose. And to execute the only thing you need to do is to go through this wizard. You will have two options here. If you already have your tenant, you will log into that link using that credentials. In that case, that kind of subscription will be added to your tenant. In other case, you will create the new tenants from scratch directly in this wizard. So the only thing you need to do is to go through it, validate you that you are not a robot, and then you can use these licenses for the 30 days without any additional costs. Remember, you can use it only once and you need to switch the users to the commercial license to do not lose the user data when the trial will end. Third option to get Microsoft 365 for free. Your organization could get access to the Office 365 for education, of course, if it has academic character. You can register for the Office 365 A1 licenses for your students, which will equivalent of the Microsoft 365 Business Basic or Office 365 E1 functionalities that allows to work on the website with the most of the functionalities of the Office 365 for free without any additional costs. This is the great opportunity for any educational organization. So if you're working in it, just try it and get free Office 365 for your team, for your teachers, for your students. When you will open Office 365 for Education portal, you will see the three type of licenses that you can use. You will need to pay for two types of them, but there is one version A1 that you can execute for free without any additional cost, no commitment. Of course, there are some limitations, like you can have access only to the Office in the browser, but still it's totally free. If your organization have educational character, it's worth to consider deployment of such environment and then in the future to extend it if there will be budget for anything else. To get access for it, the only thing you need to do is to register here and set up the tenant. 
but I would recommend you to contact with the local partner for education or local entity of Microsoft because you will need to validate that your organization have that kind of character. This is not the complex process, but it differs between local entities of Microsoft. So visit the site, you will find the link in the description, register your educational organization in there, set up your tenant and then contact local Microsoft to validate that entity. This is very simple process, more detail in the description. Fourth way to get the access to the Office 365 for free. You can get up to 100 licenses for the Microsoft 365 for one year without any additional costs. Microsoft Teams exploratory license allows you to give that kind of access of trial license for up to 100 users that could work with the Teams Exchange SharePoint OneDrive with most of Office 365 apps that are available there without any additional cost. But again, this is the trial license. So if you will get to the point in time when this license becomes expired, you can lose the data of these users. This could be very useful if you need to bring some users to the organization very quickly and make them operational, but you will buy them licenses very soon or at least in these 12 months. Setup of these licenses is quite easy. You need to just turn on this option and then create Azure AD account for them and ask these people to log in to the Microsoft Teams. They will be able to execute that license. I will show you in few steps how to do it. In the description, as always, you will find all necessary information to get through that process. There are three steps to set up Microsoft Teams exploratory license. To do that, you need to open Microsoft 365 Admin Center, then go to Settings and Organization Settings, and you need to search on this very long list for the user-owned apps and services. If you will open this category, you will be able to turn on this option, let users start trials on behalf of the organization. Of course, I could imagine that it will not be something that every time you would like to turn on, but if you want to execute Microsoft Teams exploratory trial license for 12 months, you will need to turn it on. So select that option, save that changes, then we will switch to Azure Active Directory, open in your browser portal.azure.com and go to Users. In this section, you will be able to create the new user account and you will need to create that account for every new user that would use Teams exploratory license. And this account will be need to be used to log in to the teams.microsoft.com. You can see the process is quite easy, but at the same time, all users will need to log in by themselves in the browser to execute this trial license. There's no way to assign it globally for everyone, but at the same time, it is 12 months trial license for 100 users. This is really great opportunity, and I can imagine the scenarios that could be very helpful for everyone. And as always, all necessary links you will find in the description of this video. Fifth way to get Microsoft 365 for free. The last scenario I would like to present how to get Microsoft 365 for free is participation in the Microsoft 365 developer program. This is the program that allows you to create free Microsoft 365 tenant with 25 licenses, which you can use not for the production, but for any kind of development, testing, learning purposes. This is a great solution to create the test tenant for you or the space when you will learn about or test the new features that will come to the Microsoft 365. You have full control, this is fully functional environment. At the very first step you get access for the 90 days, but you can extend it if you will execute few activities. Frankly speaking, this is the solution I'm using. I have multiple tenants where I testing and executing solutions from multiple sources and I highly recommend you to 
create same solution for you. In the next part of the video, I will navigate you where you can found the registration page when you can execute that kind of scenario. But I also prepared dedicated training that will navigate you through initial steps, how to set up that kind of tenant and what is most important, what kind of steps you need to execute every quarter to have unlimited time access to that tenant. This is really great opportunity and if you're looking to have that kind of environment, it's really worth to try it. So let's go to the Microsoft site and see how you can register for this program. So the only thing you need to do is to visit Microsoft 365 Developer Program website where you will be able to find information that the program will guarantee you the access for the Microsoft 365 for 90 days. But again, remember, if you will execute few simple steps every quarter, this availability will be extended and in the end you can have that environment for unlimited period of time. Moreover, during the deployment, you can deploy dummy data there to have some kind of structure that you can play with. And the only thing you need to do is to register in here. What is important? You will need to use in here your Live ID account, which we were creating in the very first scenario of this video. In the next steps, the only thing you will do is to set up your tenant and you can get the access in a few moments to that environment. Moreover, if you will visit academy.office365.work.com, you will be able to execute the training that will navigate you through initial steps connected with setup of that kind of tenant how to register, how to create the account, how to sign up to the program, how to create the dummy data there, set up the access, set up the accounts and initial additional configuration that could be useful for you. This training is totally free. And as a result, you get fully functional test tenant or sandbox environment, which you can use for your purposes preferred by you. I highly recommend you to have that environment. If you will need to test something, you can always do it right in there. Moreover, if you want to play with some technology and do not harm anyone, it is great place to do this. We get through five waves to get access to the Microsoft 365 without additional costs. You can see these scenarios are very different between each other and not every scenario will fit your case, but you can get multiple ways to get access to the features behind Microsoft 365 without sharing your credit card. Sometimes it will be access for 30 days, sometimes for the quarter plus, sometimes it will be for the year or unlimited period of time. Play with that kind of scenarios, have knowledge about existence of them because maybe there will be point in time that you will need to get quickly access to the licenses to provide them to your users and make them operational in your organization. You will find all necessary links in the description of the video. If you want to test it, just follow the steps that are described in there. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.